Welcome back everybody to Shagiatos. Appreciate you guys coming back, supporting this channel, helping it grow. Uh, this video is going to be about the top five cars that I think are the most reliable that you can buy for under $5,000 in 2019. And before we get into this video, I would really appreciate if you guys could hit the subscribe button on my channel as well as a notification bell icon that comes up on the side. Um, I would also super appreciate if you guys could give this video a like and you know comment anything down below uh, if you have any feedback on this video or if you have any questions regarding the content that's in this video or anything else uh, related to this channel. Just throw a comment down below. I'm pretty good at responding to all of them. Now that we're done with that, let's dive into this video. So number five on the list uh, for the most reliable cars is a 2003 to 2007 Infiniti G35 and yes you can get them for five thousand dollars or less uh, in 2000 I said 2003 to 2007 in 2007 the body style changed for the four-door but remained same for the two-door uh, as a 2003 to 2006 uh, generation and um, so those uh, that 2007 four-door model that uh, became updated would be a little bit harder to find at the $5,000 mark or lower unless they have super high miles which I don't recommend and um, the reason um, I believe this car is you know a good deal uh, if you can find one that's super well maintained either it's the original owner or somebody who's just taking good care of it and has good maintenance records on it uh, it's a great car to get into and like I said it comes in a two-door and a four-door but it shares the same engine and transmission um, as a Nissan 350Z but it's uh, more practical because either the two-door or the four-door model comes with uh, back seats obviously the four-door is more accessible um, and it's just a more practical car and the four-door ones are actually cheaper because they're a little less desired than uh, their two-door counterparts so you have that going for you and there are some uh, decent uh, decent ones on the market with a uh, decent amount of miles on them um, but once again, do your research, make sure that the maintenance has been kept up, get the car inspected if need be at a mechanic shop. Um, most likely if the car looks good, it looks good on the inside and outside, it looks like somebody actually took care of it. Uh, most chances are that it's a good running, good condition car. And if you want, have a mechanic check out the vehicle, make sure that you're getting a good deal and the car is, and the car itself is something that's going to last you down the road. But overall, these cars are very reliable. I've seen them go into the 250,000 mile range. Um, even with people who haven't really been religious with the maintenance on these. Uh, in that sense, it's a great car. It's luxurious. It's sporty. It's fun to drive. I owned a 350Z before. It might not be as sporty as far as handling in the four-door models or even the two-door model. But you are getting the same performance. You are getting the same engine and transmission as I mentioned. So... It's a great vehicle for you to get in at that price range for what it offers. So the next car we're going to get into is a 2002 to 2006 Honda CRV. And the reason I recommend this car not only is it a SUV, so it's great for somebody who doesn't want a low vehicle like like a 350Z, like a sports car or like a G35. And it's a four-cylinder SUV. So you're going to get decent gas mileage. It comes in four-wheel drive, so you can take it up to the snow in the mountains and you're good. Um, and there's a lot of room in it. It's very practical. You get all that. The only, and the in, I mean, these cars last for a long time. They go into 200 plus thousand miles pretty easy, as long as you do all the regular maintenance. And that's going to be the kind of the story with all these cars. As long as the maintenance has been done at a timely, in a timely manner and you know done correctly and you know whether somebody does it themselves but is doing it correctly or whether they're taking it to a dealership or a shop um as long as the service gets done correctly and is getting done on time these vehicles are will last for quite a long time uh, the only issues that come up with the crvs that i've read about or that i've uh, heard from people who've owned it personally is um the ac compressor failing on these the ac compressor seems to fail on these um, and sometimes that, it, you, I mean, you can get away with just changing the AC compressor, but if um, metal fragments somehow uh, end up in the AC system, 
then that would require a flush and sometimes that's not enough. We're vacuuming out the AC system and pumping it with a brand new Freon and putting a new compressor on. Sometimes that's not enough and you have to actually replace all the components within the AC system and that can cost upwards of $1,500. So that is something to be aware of. Um, so you want to make sure that, you know, the AC system is healthy. So, uh, you know, if there's any, um, if it has been replaced recently, then that's great. If somebody's already experienced that and they're replacing, you know, within the last couple of years, you should be okay. But, um, you know, just something to keep an eye out for, something to think about that could happen. But overall, other than that, these cars are pretty solid. Um, and they're just, you know, great to drive. And once again, it is an SUV, so that is a perk. Number three on the list is um, a truck, and it's uh, just a small little pickup truck, and it is the 1996 to 2000 Toyota Tacoma. And uh, in this case, I'm only talking about the two-wheel drive model, a pickup, maybe no cab. These trucks are extremely expensive, even with high miles, because they're so sought after and they're so reliable. The reason I put this truck on the list is because a lot of people aren't just looking for cars, they're looking for trucks. I mean, if you have a little lawn care business or if you do any type of handiwork or anything at all that requires a truck, um, this is a great truck to have. It'll get the job done. You can, you know, use it for hauling. You can use it, use it for any, like, side business that you have or any deliveries that you have to do. Or if you just want a truck in general to have to, you know commute in this is a nice little pickup truck to have they're super reliable um but once again as i was saying these trucks are highly sought after they are very they keep their value really well even with high mileage so what you want to do with this is um you're gonna have to try to find a deal you're, you're probably looking at the higher end of it's going to be around five thousand dollars basically uh for a good running model with not too many miles on it you might be lucky and be able to find something in the $4,000 range or work your way down to the $4,000 range. But um, it is a great truck to have if you can find a great deal on it. I don't think there is a better pickup truck out there that is um, going to hold its value better and that is going to be more reliable than um, the Toyota Tacoma of uh, in this year range. And for the second vehicle on the list, we have a 2004-2009 Toyota Prius. If you watched any of my other videos so far on this channel, you know that I own a Toyota Prius and I absolutely love it. Um, it, is, it is actually a super reliable vehicle. It's super fuel efficient. Um, in the summer at times, I mean, we're averaging about 47 miles per gallon. On an old car that has 250 plus thousand miles on it, that, I mean, like these cars run for a very long time. They're obviously, as I've talked about in my other videos, uh, some of the shortcomings on these cars is the hybrid battery. Um, that will fail. It's not a matter, matter of when or a matter of if it will fail. It's a matter of when. And when it does fail, that's what scares a lot of people. Um, but there's so many options out there for replacing the hybrid battery that um, it's in and some of them are very cost effective if you're looking just to get by if you're looking to you know for a car that you know you can keep for a couple years and then something happens with the battery you can put you know 500 to 700 dollars into the battery and it'll last probably another year year and a half to get you by there's also options with the dealership i've researched and found that you can get a brand new toyota battery for about 1700 dollars and there's plenty of uh, tutorials online and on YouTube that tell you how to walk through and install the battery yourself. So, I mean, these rumors that, you know, the ba if the battery fails, I mean, that's going to cost three to four thousand dollars. It's just not true anymore. There's too many options out there for you to um, explore if that does happen. I mean, and then again, when you're looking at Priuses, especially in the higher range of five thousand dollars, I would be looking at somebody who's recently replaced their hybrid battery and has a warranty and replaced it from somebody reputable. Um, you know, they should have paperwork on it. It should be transferable. Um, and that's something you should look into. And uh, with all these cars, you should take your time shopping around and finding the right uh, car that, you know, you feel is properly maintained and worth the money you're putting in because um, 
$5,000 is not a little bit of money and not everybody has $5,000, extra $5,000 lying around, let alone more money on top of that to put into a car that you recently purchased. So um, that being said, it is a very reliable vehicle. It's very practical. It's um, super fuel efficient. Um, other than its few drawbacks with a hybrid battery, um, you know, there's there's nothing else that it really goes wrong with these cars. They last a very long time, and I've seen some that have gone 400,000 miles on them, um, and I've seen multiple ones. So it's definitely up there on the reliability list. And for our number one top list most reliable car under $5,000 that I feel you can buy in 2019 is a 2003 to 2008 Toyota Corolla. Yes, it is not the most exciting car in the world. It's not exciting via looks, it's not exciting to drive, it's not exciting for every anything. However, it is the most reliable car that you really don't have to mess much with. Point being, it's not a hybrid, but it's a four cylinder and it gets decent gas mileage. So there's no hybrid portion of the vehicle that you have to worry about a battery dying or um, you know a learning curve with the like as with the Toyota Prius. Also, uh, there are many, many, many options with a Toyota Corolla. Um, there are many on the market, so you have plenty to choose from. But once again, the same rules apply. You have to do your homework and make sure they have proper maintenance. But with these cars, the maintenance is pretty. The maintenance is really low key. Uh, you're looking at changing your spark plugs. You're changing your oil regularly. You're getting your transmission fluid service regularly. Your coolant fluid. Um, you know, changing your regular battery out every four to five years. Um, and you're pretty good. I mean, tires, brakes, you know, all the regular maintenance stuff that you need. But these cars are pretty rock solid. And these cars also don't come with a timing belt. So as long as you do all the regular maintenance, there's no major um, main, uh, maintenance service involved. I mean, I think the most elaborate thing on these would be like doing a transmission change. And that's not even that bad. You could honestly do it yourself. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of content online on how to do all the maintenance work yourself. I even have a video uh, talking about how to change your own oil on your Toyota Corolla from these years. Uh, they're just bulletproof cars and they're simple. Yeah, I mean, there's not a learning curve. They're simple, they're easy to drive, they're practical, they have a lot of room um, and they're good for everybody. Uh, there's plenty of space. I'm 6'5", almost 300 pounds and I can fit in there. Um, and you know, like, uh, people from ranging in sizes can fit in there. There's different models. You can get some with power windows. You can get some super base models with manual windows. Like it just depends, but you can get a lot for your money and they're, they're just extremely reliable and you will not have to worry about them dying on you anytime soon. Those are the top five cars in my personal humble opinion that are the best and the most reliable that you can find for under $5,000 in 2019 i've looked at it and this is in my market obviously in california um where these vehicles exist but i'm pretty sure if i can find these cars under 5,000 in california then most likely it's similar to your market if not you have a uh market where you can find them for even cheaper so uh that's a plus for you guys thanks for tuning in everybody i super appreciate you guys coming back to the shaji autos channel um I am super appreciative of all the support that I've been getting um, as far as how good this channel is growing, the views that it's pulling in. Um, I'm very happy with it. It's a work in progress and I can't wait to see where more of this goes and provide you guys with more awesome content, more um, you know, useful knowledge about cars. So in the comments below, if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please throw an idea down below and I will be more than happy to Put out a video for you guys on that topic so with that said once again you guys please if you enjoyed this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell icon so you can get my future content and i super appreciate you guys until next time peace mm -hmm.